The reason autonomous vehicles are going to succeed, unlike other technologies, is that they're able to take advantage of all of our existing infrastructure. They take advantage of public street rights of way, which are owned by the public. If the public wakes up and realizes the necessity of managing that public right of way for the public good and not just for private profit, we have hope for steering the technology along a different trajectory. I think there's a real um, cost on human capital when people do not have the opportunity to participate in the workforce, when people can't get to their doctor's appointments because they lack transportation. And some of these numbers have been quantified by various researchers, and I think we just need to be ready with, with some of that data to, to say, hey, this, this does have an economic impact on our country. How do we get transit agencies involved, is, or is that even the right question? Now, um, I, I don't think most are involved. I don't think most cities are at the table. I don't think most transit agencies are at the table. I don't think most regions are at the table. Right now, most of the conversation, uh, particularly with the companies, tends to be at the state and federal level. And I, and I understand that from the sense that they don't want to deal with 10,000 municipalities. Uh, but I also think that when that conversation occurs at that level, we're not thinking through all the details about how it's going to hit us on the ground. First and foremost, um, building bikeable, walkable communities is only in small part about transportation. Uh, it's about quality communities, it's about efficiency, it's about um, quality architecture, public health, multiple benefits, efficiency of services. This is in, in large part why they're so popular um, and that will remain. Yeah, so the kind of doomsday scenario here is that all jobs will be replaced eventually because machines are becoming smarter and smarter, more human-like, but certainly there are certain occupational sectors where we're probably not going to see much automation in the next in the coming decades. So, occupations, jobs that require a lot of social, emotional intelligence, creativity, insight, tacit knowledge, use, use and retention of tacit knowledge, basically people skills and and high level knowledge and expertise, uh, managers, those kinds of things. Planners, planners, and planners. Yes. <laughs>